I literally can't believe I'm on the internet looking like this. Like, what am I doing? I just got back from the gym not too long ago and got out of the shower. So that's why I look like this. Just don't worry about it. Anyways, hi you guys. What is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi. Again, my name is Kayla Salenza. If you're not, welcome back. Today's video, I am taking you through a week with me. And it is Monday. I didn't do much today. I went to work in the morning. Went to gym. I just showered. I've been eating. I've been hanging out with Kobe. Kobe is on the couch. I kind of want to show you him. Yesterday, he got a haircut and he looks so cute. Okay, I had to get him because he is just honestly so cute. He was in dear need of a haircut, so we got that done yesterday. While he was there, honestly, his haircut took forever. I think he was there for like seven hours, which is absurd. But um, my fiance and I, Alan, we went shopping. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. We're going to do a little haul. I need to get a lot of like fall clothes. I got nothing. I've been lucky on Pinterest trying to get some like inspo and I picked up a few things. So I quickly want to show you what I got. First on the list is this jacket. I wanted like a plaid jacket, but like, you know, a lot of like plaid coats, they're not really thick. This is like not too thick, but it's not too thin. So I got this from Garage. Let me just put it on quickly. Like I'm so obsessed with it. Honestly, like I need to put you guys down a bit. This is what the jacket looks like. I got it in a size large because I didn't want it like too, too tight, but I didn't want it like too big either. I'm kind of thinking like if I wore like a hoodie sweater underneath, like it would be perfect and like a little bit baggy but like it's really cute just a little close-up this is the plaid so it's like white brown and blue it has two pockets on the chest it's button and then like the inside kind of looks like this like it's I don't even know what this is called and then it also has two pockets on the side and it was $90, a little bit more than I wanted to pay for this, but it seems really nice quality. Like, it's just really nice. Then I got two pairs of shoes because I need more shoes apparently. No, I don't. So first things first, I got Air Force Ones. I have literally never owned a pair of these. Like, can you believe that? I feel like every girl owns these, but not me. This is the first... Well, now I do, but not before. Alan and I wanted to get them together so we can have like matching shoes and be cute for like fall outfits, but they didn't have men's for some reason. We went to Champs, like how do you not have men's Air Force Ones? So whatever, I got them. They were only $90. I'm honestly pretty sure they gave me like a kid size. I told them like eight or eight and a half in women's and this is like six youth or something. I don't know, but on the women's shoe it said they were 120 dollars and then she cashed me out and it was only 90 dollars. so i was like hella confused but i paid less so like not complaining and then these babies oh my god so we just randomly walked into famous footwear and i saw these doc martens if you guys follow me on instagram and if you don't go do so you have already seen these because i posted them because they are beautiful so it's these white doc martin boots oh my god honestly the camera does not even do it justice like it has this little tag i'm trying to show you guys like all the details and how beautiful it is oh my god God, these were actually on clearance and there was only four sizes. There were six, there was eight, nine, and 10. The eight fit me like literally perfect. So I snagged the eight. They're originally, I think $139 and they were on sale for 119. So whatever, 20 bucks off. I almost did not get them. Like I tried them on and I was walking around and I was like, I don't know if I should get them. I don't know if they look good. I don't know if I'll actually wear them. Like I loved them, but I was like, will I actually wear them? And then I decided, no, I'm probably not gonna wear them and they're, I'm just gonna waste my money. And I swear to you, I walked maybe like three feet out of the store and I instantly regretted it. So I turned around and I was like to Alan, no, we need to go get it. So I got them. Oh my god, Insta pictures, fall outfits, 
fire. And then lastly, I went into, I think it was spring. Yeah, spring. And I just got this like layered necklace. It's really cute. I don't know. I thought it was cute. And then I just got these earrings. I don't know. I'm trying to like get into hoops. So we'll see. But yeah, that is everything that I bought. I kind of wanted to show you guys that because nothing is going on too much for me today. So yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. You guys are a little bit low, so I need to bend down. Don't mind my shirt. You probably didn't even notice, but I'm going to point it out. Don't you hate when you put deodorant on and then you put clothes on? Like, I had something else on this morning because I just took Kobe for a walk. And then I switched out of it because I'm hot and I put this shirt on. And then I got deodorant on. So I just, like, put water. Love that. I am currently about to make breakfast. I'm having a really light breakfast today because I have to go to the dentist in, like, 40 minutes. Um, so I don't want to eat too, too much. I uh, just will eat when I get back. I almost forgot. Oh, it's hot. My English muffin. So I'm going to have that just with some butter. I'm going to make my greens and I'm going to have a banana. So yeah, I'm getting my teeth cleaned. I went once last week already because I haven't been in forever. Like a really long time. Now, the reason why I haven't been in so long is because once I took over my mom's business, I became self-employed. If you're self-employed, you know that you don't really have benefits. There's, I don't have benefits with, like I can get third party benefits, but they're very expensive. And then to pay for services such as getting your teeth cleaned, when you're self-employed, it means it comes out of my pocket, which is a lot of money. And honestly, I hate the dentist. I hate everything about it. I hate everything about my teeth. I'm not gonna get into it, but like, I just hate it. So I was like not making it a priority. Now that Alan has benefits with his company, we decided that we're gonna start going, we're gonna start making it a priority. We're adults, we're getting married, we're gonna be starting a family soon. So we need to make it a priority. So I went two weeks ago for like my consultation, which was $300 just for them to like look at my teeth, take x-rays and pictures. Then I went last week to get, they did the right side of my teeth. That was like 200, $203 I think it was so then I have to go again today to do the left side of my teeth which is gonna cost another $203 so that's like 700 plus dollars just for that which is so this is my mini breakfast gonna eat that Kobe is over there this was what you guys were all in my makeshift tripod it is a little bit later it is 6 3 p.m. and I just got back from grocery shopping I went to Longo's and I have two big bags of groceries it was about $94 I think for all of this it's like a mini grocery haul i guess that i'm taking you through so this is everything that i got i guess we'll start with the bread sources and carbs i kind of squished the bread i don't even know if you can tell bellagio bread i always talk about it everything bagels always talk about it we've been back on the english muffin vibe so i got some of those and then sandwich bread for alan as you can tell we eat a lot of bread this will literally be done this week like Maybe if not in like three days. For protein sources, I got two pieces of salmon, $13.99. It's so expensive. I got all beef salami for Alan. So that's going to go on this bread for sandwiches. I got these chicken cutlets. So I probably will like bread them with eggs and flour and breading. We got eggs. Moving on to fruits and vegetables. I got this half uh, watermelon because I think watermelon season is going to be done soon. So I'm going to cut this up tonight and eat that. I'm lazy. So I just got this pre-cut lettuce, zucchini red onion bananas blueberries strawberries cucumber I have literally been out of ketchup for like a week or two so finally I got that Nutella I got this slice of pumpkin pie honestly I've been buying it for like two weeks now and then last but not least these little potato company potatoes these are so good I roast these with like parmesan pepper um, olive oil onion powder really good Kobe's being such a good boy as you can see he's been chilling in his crate hi you're so cute. Are you tired? What you doing? What you doing? Happy Wednesday, guys. I have a little mini haul for you. So yesterday, after I was recording everything, I actually received my Alfleet package. I hadn't ordered from Alfleet in so long. It was being a good girl, trying to save a little bit of money. But then they came out with the new Alphalux and this color I had to get. So I got these sets, so the leggings and the sports bra, and then I got this 
I don't know, I forget what this is called. I'll check my phone and I'll let you know. But I'm gonna try it on quickly because I'm going to the gym, I'm doing a push day and I wanna wear this set. So I figured I might as well just show you. I'm gonna make this quick because I really wanna get to the gym, it's 1.30. So this is the Pulse Kinetic Bra in white and I'm wearing it in a size small. It's like squared here, which is a little bit different. Usually tops are like sweetheart, I think, or it's like kind of rounded or they're like a V-neck. So I kind of like this. What I noticed right away when I put this bra on is that the padding is very thick like a lot thicker than any of the other Elfly bras I have and I don't know if it's because of this bra like if they just made it thicker or if it's because this bra is white I'm thinking maybe because it's white they made the padding a little bit thicker so it's not like see-through you're not seeing any like nip slips or anything so I'm not sure if it's just the color or if all of these Pulse Kinetic bras are like that, but the padding is a lot thicker, which it, it's not a bad thing. It gives you support, which is nice. And then when you flip to the back, I love it. I love open backs. Show those gains. One really nice detail, it has Elfly right here. It's in white, so it's like hard to see, but it's a little bit raised. It's like super nice. Okay, now we're moving on to the Elf Lux set. Speechless. So the top is the Alphalux Asymmetrical Bra in Cyclone Blue and I'm wearing it in a size small. So as you can see, it's like this blue acid wash almost. The color is like, the camera does not do it justice. It is really nice. And then it's a one shoulder. It has this like opening. Very interesting because I've never seen a sports bra like this. I feel like it's very like dressy sportswear if you know what I mean. The sports bra itself I feel like is a lot longer. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It kind of feels more like a tank top than a sports bra. Even though it does have padding in it, it just kind of feels more like a tank top to me. Which to some is like a huge pro because like you could wear this as like a going out top, like to a restaurant or something. And then when you flip to the back, obviously one side is open, you have the one strap, everything is like the same color. And then it just, I don't know if you can see, it says Alphalete right here. And then the bottoms are the Alphalux Force Leggings, again in Cyclone Blue. And again, I'm wearing it in a size small. So I was hiking them up a little bit, so they kind of go like cropped just above my ankles. But same sort of idea, this Cyclone Blue color. It is high-waisted and it has like these two contour lines, which I'm pretty sure they did in the other Alpha Lux leggings, don't quote me on it. It does have one pocket on the side, but it's kind of weird to me that there's no pocket here. Like, I feel like if you're gonna have pockets and leggings, it should be on both sides, not just one side. I don't know. This is the back of the leggings, so the two contour lines just kind of go in. And it does say Alphalete right here. I wouldn't say these are like the most flattering Alphalete leggings because we all know the Amplify collection shorts and leggings is the best. They're the most flattering. So I won't say these are the most flattering, but they are still very nice. And one thing I will mention about the material, it is so soft. Like I feel so nice right now. It really feels like buttery, soft, like super expensive, luxurious material. Like it feels really good. But yeah, this is my outfit for the gym today. And like, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, especially like this whole thing, but we're gonna go for it. Happy Friday, Junior. It's almost the weekend. I just got home from work probably like 20 minutes ago. Um, oh wow, the reflection of my glasses. Okay, I'm wearing these. These are just my blue light glasses. I got them in like a FabFitFun box a while ago. I usually wear them when I'm like either working because I work on a laptop or I'm on my phone a lot or like late at night. But anyways, that's besides what the point of this is. I'm hungry and I kind of wanted to show you guys what I've been snacking on, like kind of meal prep. So I'm not gonna lie, like my nutrition lately has been a tiny bit slacking, not the worst, but like not the best either. And now that I'm doing a nutrition course for my fitness and my online training, which is coming so soon, so keep an eye out about that if you wanna train with me or anything, it's soon. But anyways, I have been learning a lot about nutrition and just really, like I know it's important, but just truly how important it is. So 
I showed you guys earlier in the week, I went grocery shopping and I decided I was gonna meal prep and like just get things ready to make my life easier because I am on the go so much. I'm going to work, which is half an hour away. I'm doing the gym, I'm trying to work here. I'm trying to do content stuff. I'm trying to do stuff for brands. I'm taking care of Kobe. I'm doing laundry, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning. And it, it, there's just a lot of things that I'm doing. So I wanted to make my life easier. So what I have been eating a lot this week is these like turkey wraps basically. So what I'll show you, they're like little pinwheels. I saw it on TikTok and I was like super interested in giving it a try. So that is what it looks like. Super basic, it's just a tortilla roll. There's lettuce, cheese, turkey slices, chicken bacon, and then some of them I added mayo. I mean, if you're counting macros or anything, you'd probably keep the mayo out because mayo is really not macro friendly. So I put everything on, I wrapped it up, and then I used the little toothpicks to like hold them together. And then I cut it three times. So I eat three of them and I know that makes one wrap. So in one wrap, you're getting a total of 20 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat, and 23 grams of protein. And that is just based on the specific products that I use. So I use Dempster's tortilla wraps, I use Maple Lodge Farms chicken bacon, I use Maple Leaf hickory smoked turkey breast five slices, and then I use Kraft sliced cheese. I honestly don't really count my vegetables, like just this little handful of lettuce is like not gonna make much of a difference to me, honestly. And it's just been so easy. One day I had this for lunch with a salad. Today, now I'm having it as like my pre-workout snack. I'm going to the gym in like an hour and a half with my friend Summer, so I'm like gonna eat this now and let it digest. Honestly, I think it's just the perfect little meal or snack. Like, so good and it's so easy to make. Like, there is literally no excuses as to why you don't have proper nutrition or like, can't stay on track just doing little things like making this or like even the watermelon i showed you guys earlier in the week that i got that night i cut it up and i put it in containers like this i washed all my fruit got it all ready like just little things like that are such huge pro tips to help you through your week and through your life i'm gonna eat this because i am hungry i might take you guys through my workout i'm doing a leg day with my friend summer like i mentioned so i might take you with me i'm not sure yet guys happy friday i am so excited so i had a busy day i got a lot done i did three loads of laundry i did the dishes i put them away i still have to put away some laundry i don't even know if you can see it what else did i do i printed decals for alan's brother's business i went and got this printed i dropped off two packages one at usps and or ups i don't know how it works in canada one at canada post went to the bank I cleaned a bit, I did some work. Kobe is not happy about something. I don't know what's going on with him. But I had a busy day and this is kind of high. That's much better. I am probably gonna end the vlog here because it's getting quite long. This guy is so interested in what's going on, hello? Okay, I quickly wanted to show you guys just because I kind of touched on this earlier in the week I told you guys like my fitness coaching and online coaching is gonna be starting soon So if you follow me on Instagram, you should know that I am can you stop? <laughs> I'm currently doing another um, online fitness and nutrition Program oh, I, I don't even know. I think I was gonna say consultation I don't know why and they came out with a manual So like I have a course that's filled with all of these modules like nutrition Macros how to track macros how to count macros all of that good stuff form tips how to do exercises properly My Apple watch is going off. This is like what is happening? But anyways, they put it into a manual. I don't know if I said that I'm literally losing track of my mind Can you stop? Um, and I went and got it printed at Staples and it was a lot, it was expensive, okay? Staples, too much. I could have done it on my own, but what I like is that I got like this binding in it. So like, I'll never lose it or anything, but it came out so good. The quality is amazing. The paper feels so like, it's really nice. I got this like front cover to just like protect it. It's just like this clear laminate. I am like 68% done the course, I think. Um, I have technically until November 9th to do it before I do my exam, but I'm hoping to be done within the next couple of weeks because I think I want to start my online coaching the first week of November. Yeah, so make sure you look out for that. I kind of just wanted to 
end the video and just like briefly show you guys this like it's really pretty very informative Kobe is sitting here now. He's like, I want to be included. So yeah, it is like 5.30 now. Alan's going to be home at 6. So I'm going to shower and I'm going to get ready because we're going to go out for dinner. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to me down below if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.